Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time, we are doing a bit of DLC for Conan Exile's new bit, Isle of Sipta. Now, few things to point out before we begin. Now, although the base game is on Xbox Game Pass to install and play right now, you will have to pay an astonishing £16 for this DLC for 460 game score. For about an hour or two worth of gameplay. 16 pissing quid! Yes, anyway. So, to me personally, as you can probably tell, it is a bit of an absolute piss take, but it is what it is. And all I'm here to do is to show you how to get all achievements in this DLC, and the quickest way of doing it, and that is thanks to the legendary sexiness that is admin commands. Yes, the adcoms return in the DLC to at least give us some extra easy G's in this pay in 16 quid for DLC crap. So with that being said, sometimes angrily, <laughs> let us begin, shall we? So first things first then, we are going to single player slash co-op, go down to new game, and then press X to play a bit of single player right here. Go down to where it says the Isle of Sipta, choose your difficulty, it really doesn't matter because we'll be slamming it through on god mode anyway. Which is all good, but this is how you start the DLC, it's from the main menu. And of course, I am here to remind you, because some, a lot of people, a lot of us may not have played the game in quite a while since the uh, original Admin Command videos were out. So, it could have been a while. But we are going to have to make up a new character. I'm going to make Buff Mother Bitch. Because, uh, you know, who doesn't like being a Buff Mother Mama? So, we can, you know, you can literally just go straight down to finalise character if you want, but... Uh, you know, I uh, try and make him a little bigger. Um, there we go, he's a bit taller now. I also, uh, I obviously put nudity on because nudity is hilarious. Make my wang and my titties bigger because why the hell not? There's nothing wrong with having a big wang and some big bows and some big boobies. And there's nothing wrong with small ones either. I should know more than most. <laughs> anyway, finalize your character and <laughs> let's get it on. So, first things first then, everyone's favourite on the admin commands, press the select button, that will get you to this menu where you can go down to settings, so that's what we're going to go down to, scroll, uh, press right trigger, scroll all the way across to server settings, click A, and then go on to make me admin right there. Perfect, honey. So now we can just back out of this with the B button, and you can see the admin panel now just above the settings. So we're going to click on that now, and then on the left hand side, you can see where it says God with a checkbox next to it. Make sure to click that so we're in God mode. Go down once to eating and make sure to disable that as well. So make sure God's got the tick by it and eating does not have the tick by it. And oh my God, look at that hunk of man. Mm, yeah, so hot. If I was to be inclined that way. Anyway, head on to the map. You can go to the map straight away with the right button. And then head to where I am now. Which is sort of on the right hand side of the map. Just above where that little building was right there. And by the way, uh, if you press the Y button. That is what makes you sort of fast travel in this game. As long as you've got the admin panel on. And basically what that's going to do is unlock us our first achievement. So again, apologies if I do go a little bit too quick on the map. Obviously, you can just quickly pause the video, just make sure that you've got exactly where I am. Head up to this sort of blue door, and that is the first achievement of the DLC unlocked in the vault. Oh man, look at that back. God, I wish I was muscly like this guy. Okay, enough perving and enough wishing I was as muscly as that. We're going back onto the map, and where we're going to head is basically... Um, just to the right of where the, the, the sort of big black circle is in the middle here. Just to the right. Again, if you want to pause it here just to make sure that you got it exactly where I did. Uh, what that's going to do is unlock us achievement number two. The Lay Shrine of the Serpent. And we're going to be coming back here for a couple of achievements later on as well. So that should be already two out of the 11 achievements done. So take a run around. Uh, you know, get used to the controls again. A to jump. Clicking the left stick to sprint and all that. We won't be needing it much, which is all good. Now we're heading back onto the map. Now we're going back basically into the absolute center where the sort of black hole and everything is. 
By the way, my character's going to look a little different. I forgot to press record on the original <laughs> screen, so we'll come back to my original Beastie Boy later. So, now we have discovered the tower. That should unlock us our third achievement already. And we got creepy-ass spider-looking things there, but you should now be on three out of 11 achievements. And now we can do a little bit of in. So, press the select button once again. Go back down to admin panel. Uh, you can just simply scroll across all the way over to the spawn menu on the right hand side. And then if you go and click on other, now we can search and what you have to put in is sigil. So that's S-I-G-I-L. Again, as long as you've got God Mode on, you shouldn't have to worry about too much. You'll be absolutely fine. What you need to do, go down, click on it once and then make sure to get seven. So the top seven, doesn't matter what seven, just make sure that you have clicked on at least seven. Um, you can click on them all if you want as well. Then uh, press B to go back, press the start button to go in inventory, and then press the X button on all seven of your sigils. And that is going to unlock us another two achievements. So like I said, that is, as long as you've got these seven sigils, you know, even if you didn't, it takes literally a couple of seconds just to go back onto the admin panel. And go again, but that should be another two achievements. Our sort of half buff dude is, is getting the job done now, but they were so disappointed after, after pressing, forgetting to press record. Because, man, I is a stupid. See, he's not even a buff. Right, so as we're getting sliced and diced by skeleton looking weird things, let's go for our next achievement, shall we? <laughs> Okay, since I'm fed up again and sliced and diced, I'm just going to this random location. You literally don't have to go here. Um, as long as you're not getting sliced and diced, then that should be absolutely fine. So what we need to do now is defeat a summon surge. A couple of little things we've got to do. So again, go back onto admin panel. Oh, sorry, settings first. My apologies. Go down to server settings and then go down on the left-hand side to combat. Now what we have to do is turn the player damage multiplier... And the NPC damage taken all the way up. So that's player damage multiplier all the way up. And NPC damage taken all the way up. Basically gives us the big advantage and slicing this biatch up in one. Then if you just press the B button to go up once to survival. Then turn stamina cost multiplier all the way down. The stamina cost multiplayer all the way down. Basically, we don't get as knackered when we're slicing and dicing, yeah? So, remember, as long as you've got uh, your god mode on and you've disabled it, did lovely. Now we can go back into the uh, panel. As we can see, spawn item and just type in sword. Now, it literally doesn't matter um, whichever one you choose on the gear here. I chose this one because it has the funniest sounding name. I chose the lying bastard sword. Awesome. Just, why the hell not? Just friggin' awesome. Uh, but again, literally you can choose any sword you want. So now press the start to go back into your inventory. Ignore this achievement. Now what you have to do to actually equip the sword is press the left bumper button, or L1 on the PlayStation. Eventually I do it. One day I will do it. There we go, so left bumper, and then just choose up or anywhere, that will actually put that into your weapon wheel. Go off your inventory, press the left bumper again, and then just go and click on it, and that is how you equip things. Again, survival games always have this pissing weird way of doing things, but that's cute. So we're going back on the admin panel, and we go in in the middle to spawn NPCs. <gasps> Oh man, it's never ending. And then what you need to type in is Spider of Leng Summon. That's obviously S P I D E R O F L E N G S U M M O N. So that's Spider of Leng Summon. And then what that will do is bring up just one enemy, which is one of the summon surges, which we need to kill, destroy, shove sword up its butt. You will actually have to click on it twice for it to spawn, and it should spawn in front of you. Give it a whack with the right trigger, and that is going to be that achievement done. So again, a little couple of things that we had to do, but there we go, that is how you do that. Nice and easy. Now what we're going to be getting is a silver key and this one is very very simple as well 
Nya, 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 I beat you. Lick my pubes, cause I beat you. Your little bitch, your little bitch, your little bitch with the baseball bat. Anyway, sorry, we're getting ahead of ourselves now. Just uh, gloating a bit too much. Go back onto your admin panel, go all the way to spawn items, and then just type in two question marks. Two question marks. El doso, el dudes, el two boy. And then go to other, and then literally you can grab anything you want. I just go for the greater question mark because it sounds godlike. And now what that should do right now is unlock another achievement. For some reason it got delayed quite a bit on mine. So this is why I'm just still gloating. Shoving my barely unwashed balls in this spider's face. I say barely unwashed because uh, we still haven't had a shower yet. So just ignore this bit for now. I'm literally just waiting for it to appear. And... <whistles> there it is. So, if it doesn't unlock straight away, just wait a 30 seconds or so, and you should eventually get it. Okay, enough gloating now. Jeez, you you killed one spider, bro. God, you think you're awesome or something. Hey, anyway, we're back now with my epic, good-looking buff dude. Now, what we're going to do then is go back to the Serpent of the Lay Shrine, the one where we got the second achievement. So, we're going to head right back there. This is just the easiest one that we found that I found for the achievement anyway. Now we're actually going to be heading in. Oh my god, I th it must be the hair. It must be the hair. I'm bald in on top, so I might just shave the sides and get that hair do going. So there is going to be a staircase. We'll talk about that later on. Um, there is going to be a staircase in here. For some reason, I'm having trouble bloody finding it, but there it is. So find the staircase, and then in the middle of this room, you can see this sort of light kind of thing and then right by it is a scroll then we need to read the scroll first so press the x button by said scroll that should do it fine and when we finish reading that what you need to do is again press select we're going back onto the admin panel now now what you need to do then go all the way over to spawn item and then what we need to search for in the resource tab is a hardened steel bar <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, hardened steel bar. H A R D E N E D space S T E E L S T E E L. Yep. Yeah. Uh, space B A R. Sorry, I couldn't even spell it myself then. So that's what we're looking for. One should come up. Now we need ten of these. So it, you know, either count as you're going along or just spam the A button a bunch of times. But we need at least ten of these hardened steel bars. I had a hardened steel bar once. And then I had a kid, then it doesn't get used anymore. Do up. Sorry, wrong thing. <laughs> also, what we need to do, if you search for in the other tab, we now need to search for shining and four question marks. So, S-H-I-N-I-N-G space, and then just four question marks. And then eventually that should pop up for us as well. That should be in the other bar. And again, we're going to need ten of them, so count to ten. As you're going along, or spam the A button. I'm not even going to say anything funny or <laughs> attempt anything funny that time. We don't need to. That should be good. Now we can go back out. And um, now we need to interact with the focus alter base, which is the glowing triangle right here. So again, press the X button. Now you need to place all the hardened steel bars inside. So just press A on the hardened steel bars and move them over to the sort of middle menu there. And then we need to craft any one of the focus altars. So go over to the right, the crafting menu on the right hand side. And then you should be able to press the Y button to craft one. That should come up pretty immediately as well. Job done. So we've crafted that. Now we can um, hold the X button once again. And now we're actually going to place all of the shining question marks um, actually inside the focus altar bloody ting. We're going to do all 10, 11, however much you got, and what that will do, that will, those 10 shinings will convert to a thousand swirling chaos. So you've got a thousand swirling chaos, turn to the right here slightly, interact with the lever, and all you've got to do now is just wait until the surge starts. You don't have to kill, the, uh, some enemies might appear for you, but of course you've got god mode on, so you can literally just take a dump on them and they'll die, or spit in their face, COVID style. It, some may, may appear for you, some may not, but 
All we are doing then is just waiting until the surge starts and the achievement unlocks. Hooray! Noisy Sloicy, that unlocks right. Now we've actually only got three achievements left, but we are coming up to the sort of um, longer style of the spectrum now, the longer end of the spectrum. So we're going back onto admin panel. And then what we need to do is go back over to spawn item. Again, obviously just making sure that your god mode is enabled and your eating is disabled. Uh, but head over, over to spawn item. Now in the other tab, click the other tab we need to search for weapon schematic so you can just type in weapon schematic w e a p o n space s c h e m a t i c and what we're actually needing is the great axe of the legion so you could just type in great axe or great axe of the legion it's the it should be the second one down though so again, you just need to click on that once with the A button and that should add to it. If it's not there for you, just type in um, on other Great Acts of the Legion and that should come up that way as well. What we are also needing is we need to go to the Building tab now and we need to type in Improved Blacksmith's Bench. So in the spare time, the blacksmith does like to get a big chest. Uh, no, <laughs> it's uh, obviously INP... R-O-V-E-D, space, B-L-A-C-K, S-M-I-T-H. Now, the comma is important. T-H, comma, S. That is important, otherwise it will not appear. And then, obviously, space, B-E-N-C-H. So, that comma in between uh, blacksmiths, between the H and the S, is important, as I said, as it will not turn up, which is very particular. But I suppose for the... Grammar Nazis who are ever playing this game will probably enjoy that a lot more. So again, just press a button on that once. You may have to press on it a few times just for it to go inside of your inventory. Job done. Right now we're going into resources tab and type in weapon handle. W E A P O N space H A N D L E. Now I'm fully aware that a lot of people will know how to spell this, but just trying to be helpful, man. God, I'm sorry. <laughs> but there we go. So you should have a weapon handle. So click A once on that to get that into your inventory. Now sticking with the resources tab, we now need to type in Eldarium or Eldarium, whatever it is. E-L-D-A-R-I-U-M. Now what we're going to need is 47 of these. Now, you can press the left trigger, and that should um, give you a sort of stack or a spawn of 100. For some reason, that was just not working for me at all. It might work for you, it might not again. So, what I ended up doing was just counting to 47. So, get 47 bits of Eldarium in your inventory. It's got to be 47. You can have more than 47, but it's got to be at least 47. So, if the whole pr holding and pressing the left trigger does not work for you, then just simply, you know, spam the A button until you get to 47 elder re 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 ums. Right then, so back out of Mia. Now we are going to open up our inventory again. Now we need to consume the weapon schematic. So go to the weapon schematic, the Great Battle Axe of Legion, whatever it's called. Press the X button on it. And that will sort of consume that, make you um, learn that. Sorry. And then what you need to do is equip the improved blacksmith's bench. So again, that is go on the uh, blacksmith's bench, press the left bumper or L1 on the PlayStation. And then just put it somewhere on your weapon wheel back out and then you should be able to use that now what I'm actually doing is go into the beach section because you can only put it on some flat land you can't actually put it on anything that's got a bit of a dip in it or anything or a hill so just head to the beach I'll show you again sort of where I just went literally it's only gonna take two seconds to get there on the beach on the right hand side 
and that just gives us a nice bit of flat land so you can place that anywhere so we're gonna plop that one down plop it out of your all right on your beach job done and then what we need to do now is obviously interact with the bench because of course that's how you craft things you need to place the weapon handle and all the Eldarium in the middle right there. Obviously on the blacksmith's bench. So the weapon handle and all of the Eldarium. It doesn't matter if it's 47, doesn't matter if it's bloody 50, as long as it's at least 47. Head over to the right hand side on the crafting menu. Press the white button and that will begin uh, crafting an Eldarium weapon. The Great Axe of the Legion. Now because we've got base stats, this is going to take about 2 minutes. So you can literally just wait here for a minute, for about two minutes, and then, as you can see it at the bottom there, it should now just disappear. When it is done, we've gained another level because we are buff, strong, and we've got the goddamn nicest bald hair in the world. But there we go. So that should be achievement number nine out of eleven now. So we've created a weapon using Eldarium, or Elder Iam, or whatever. Now we've got the two. This next one is slightly random. So basically, we need to get caught in the middle of a storm called a Maelstrom. So if we just go over to Settings, go to Server Settings, and all the way down to what it says Maelstrom at the bottom. On the Settings, turn the Maelstrom cooldown all the way down. Because basically that will, or that should, increase the chance of a storm. And turn the Maelstrom duration all the way up, which increases the window of opportunity of the storm. So the Maelstrom cooldown all the way down, the Maelstrom duration all the way up. Now, these Maelstroms only appear basically in the middle of the map. Um, they don't appear on the outer sides of the map, they only appear in the middle. And it's random sort of when it turns up. For those settings, it gives you, like I said, that greater opportunity for them to show up. But what I did was eventually I ended up just moving about a little bit and I ended up going back to that Leyland of the Shrine that we went to earlier on to get our second achievement and the other achievement right there and this is what it should start looking like very windy very gusty and then a sort of pink sky thing will happen and that is how you get the achievement so like I said you can either just put those settings and sort of wait here and go idle for however long it takes for one to show up or you can be quite impatient like me and sort of Put yourself around the middle of the map and just keep going until uh, until one just appears like this. But I literally just showed up like this and it was already happening. So it might be worth just sticking around this area. The sort of shrine, the Leyland of the Shrine or whatever it's bloody called. Um, until one turns up. Um, but again, like I said, sadly it is random. So you might get one immediately, you might not. Um, another thing you can do though is you can actually change the spawn settings. So if you're playing at sort of 5 p.m., you can set the event time from 5 o'clock to 5.45, which will give that storm time a 45 minute window where it should turn up between them. So that's another option if it's not appearing for you. It didn't appear for me for about an hour, to be honest, of just idling and doing nothing. But now we are on to the final achievement of the game and sadly it's another one of those bitch ones of oh uncover the whole map yeah this is really fun Ugh. not so what i'm going to do with this then i'm going to put a map uh, a link with the map in the description uh, in the description below so basically what you can do is just click on that to know exactly uh, where you need to go, what you need to do to be able to um, uncover everything and unlock this achievement. Because, like I said, uh, there's two ways you can do it as well. Now, I ended up just sort of going from spot to spot, pressing the Y button to obviously fast travel there. I know it was a couple of loading screens. If you're on the Xbox Series X or the S, uh, the load screens are very quick, as you've probably seen throughout the game. But what a lot of people did like doing, they didn't like doing that, so they ended up flying. They ended up rooting out a map and flying. For me, for some reason, because there is no mini-map on this game, um, it just annoyed me where I was, having to kick, uh, I was having to keep pausing the game anyway to sort of wonder where I'm going, fly into that direction. So for me, I ended up just doing the way of fast travelling to literally each point. Um, and I'll show you exactly where Fly is right now. It's literally just in the... Um, bit 
where it with, with the god mode so that is how you can enable or disable the fly mode but again however you do it is up to you you can get it if you map out a route level and you know what you're doing with the game you can get this achievement done in about an hour um for me going fast traveling from place to place um it did take roughly about two hours only because sometimes it doesn't put you exactly in the middle um, sometimes you may have to go underwater, sometimes you may have to walk a little bit um, to get the exact, exact location. So again, just be aware of that. You may not uh, discover the location straight away, you may have to just do a little bit of walking around, which can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Also, another note, if you are flying, make sure to actually touch the ground for it to actually unlock. Um, because it'll say it's discovered, but it won't actually unlock. So if you're flying, just make sure to touch the ground. Um, but like I said, again, I know I've waffled on about this, but I will put a complete map in the description box below, so you know exactly, you can just use that then as sort of reference, and you know exactly, exactly where to go and what to do. Uh, the way you get this achievement, though, is completely up to you. Um, but, yeah, personally, I just hate achievements such as this um it just it, it doesn't make you enjoy the game anymore it really it makes it for me it, i enjoyed it a little bit less because of it but that is the map like i said i'm going to leave the completed map in the description box below so you can take a look for yourself and give yourself your own bit of reference why are people screaming stop screaming you stupid butthole oh my god so Anyway, basically I'm on the last two now. That is exactly what I'm showing you. There we go. So this one, and, and again, some of them are just a bit of a pain in the butt because you think your interpretation and everything would be right. It'll be directly in the middle of this place. But no, sometimes it's right by a random entrance, such as this one. West like West Light Big Shite. What I like to call that. So now we come on to the last one. So, yeah. So, how are you guys days, huh? How's your day going? Good? Fantastic. But there we go then. So, once you have unlocked everything, the achievement should unlock straight away. You should also get the quest complete for um, exploring everything. But, there we go then. Guys and gals, that is that. That is the Conan, Conan Exiles DLC, the Isle of Sipta. Whether they release any, this was a bit of a surprise, so whether they release any more, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed this bit of DLC. I really do hope the guide has helped as well. And, uh, of course, don't forget, if it, did, if it did help, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share with any friends or family if it did. Don't forget, of course, to um, check me out on my socials as well, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon as well. I'd really highly appreciate it if you checked any of those out. Big shout out to everyone on Patreon, by the way, for the continued support. I do absolutely appreciate it big time. But that is that then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. Enjoy your 460 gamer score for 16 quid. And I shall see you in the next one. Big love.